Hello guys, this is Miss Ana Luisa Bermea and we're on fifth grade. Today we will work on coordinating conjunctions and you will use your practice book, page 154. This is a class we have seen already. A coordinating conjunction is a word that is used to combine related sentence or young words in a list. Some coordinate conjunctions are and, or, and but, and we have used them already. Combine related sentences. She can ride a horse, comma, and she is a fast rider too. He can march until down, comma, or he might find a horse. The militia is brave, comma, but the fighting is difficult. Join words in a series. He was excited, scared, comma, and brave all at once. If you notice, we have to use a comma before the conjunction. Okay, remember, and is to join, or is to give choice, and but is to contrast. Okay? Let's complete the activity. Use the coordinating conjunction to combine the sentence. Okay, you have it on the top. The soldier was sick. He fought anyway. But, was sick, but he fought anyway. But, he fought anyway. So you will write the two sentences. You will delete that period from the first sentence and turn it into a comma. Then you will use the conjunction and, or but, or and. And the capital letter from the second le sentence should be lower case. Number two, he needed to fight. His regiment might lose the battle. He needed to fight, comma, or his regiment might lose the battle. Remember, the first period should turn into a comma. And then you will write the conjunction, try to write it on a different color, red or blue. And the second sentence should begin with a lowercase letter. The soldiers fought well. His regiment won the battle. The soldiers fought well, comma, and his regiment won the battle, period. You will do number four and number five by your own. Now, let's read the second activity. Fill in the blank with a coordinating conjunction. Each soldier was given a uniform, a hat, comma, and a mask. You will use the conjunction to complete the sentence. Okay? You will do number seven and number eight on your own. Okay? Now, let's go... To the next activity. The next activity is word choice. Right here on the activity, we will talk about verbs. We worked on this yesterday on the Zoom, and it was ex the exact verb. It's almost the same. Action verbs describe what a person or thing does. The more exact or vivid an action verb is, the better it describes the action. Instead of say. You exclaim, cried, replay. Instead of make, use wrote, build, or invent. Instead of when, use the word raise, drudge, or stroll. Now, remember, we have to use the exact verb, a better verb. Let's read the box. These are the verbs that you will use. You may need to know what these five verbs means in Spanish. Cooked, sued, strolled, ate, and sleep. If you don't know the meaning of these verbs, try to use a dictionary because you need them. Activity. You will replace each underlined verb with an exact verb from the box. Rewrite each sentence to use the exact verb and make the author's meaning clear. Let's read sentence one. The soldier went all the way back to camp. 
He was not in a hurry. Okay, we have the word cook, soon, stroll, ate, and exclaim. So you will change the word when for a better or exact verb from the box. The soldiers stroll. Stroll means like walking, like having a fun, having a walk. So a soldier stroll all the way back to the camp. He wasn't in a hurry. You will, you will do the same with number two. She made him a new coat is one of your clues. She used a needle, it's another clue, and a thread. So you have three clues right there, coat, needle, and thread, to exchange the verb made for a ver better verb. Number three. I love the coat, her husband said. He was excited. You will change the word said for a better verb. And you have a clue, excited. Number four, later they had the dinner she made. Okay, so you have to complete the activity and send me pictures of the work. And remember, guys, enjoy your vacations. And I will see you soon. I love you and I miss you. And I hope I can see you soon. Goodbye.